talking tunes, and we're talking with the one, the only, Mr. G himself, Greg Roberts, or Greg T. Roberts, I, don't know I should about, say. I don't know about one, man. The size I am is like two and a half. Well, you know, that's true. When you get a two-two, you got to get a four-four. So, yeah, we know yeah, about that. We're, we're at a four-four, Jack. Yeah. So, hey, I, I heard that. I, I got to tell you real quick, just so I don't forget, because you know how when you get old, how you do that. Um, I talked to Beth Beeman, and she said that uh, she rescheduled the Sound of Music for October. So, nice. So it should be on, man. You and me and, and Bob, we should be able to do the uh, the uh, <laughs> Sound of Music. Well, well, hopefully they'll do Queen again, maybe. Yeah. You know, we visit Queen, so that would be nice. So we can do a little Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's going on? This is the pandemic version of Talking Tunes. Yeah. It's been a while. It has. Yeah, like I say, I, I wanted to talk to everybody because, you know, it's just putting on some of the old stuff that we did 20 years ago, which was still fun. I mean, we had we had a lot of fun back then, but, I, you know, it's, it's kind of the, the time where we got to talk about uh, what's really kind of going on, too. So, Right. It's, it's, a, it's a new world out there. Man. You got that right. It's a, it's a lot going on, and the thing is, is we pray that everybody stays safe and stay in and wash their hands and do all the protocol and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we're going to keep on pushing on, talking to us to make sure that people know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, for instance, like I say, I was talking to you just a little bit ago before I we started recording this thing. Because, of course, this is pre-recorded, and this is on. It's kind of fitting that uh, you and I talk on April Fool's Day, I think, don't you? Uh, <laughs> what other day should we talk? That's right. That's April right. Right. So, anyway, we're talking about um, getting food, of course. You know, because right now is the time when this plays, it'll be the two weeks will be kind of already almost done but this is the two weeks that they're saying is going to be the worst uh, right now for the first two weeks in april so yeah. so i went to the store and i didn't hoard but i you know i ordered online uh at walmart and i got quite a bit of stuff there but of course they didn't have everything and then i you know put the mask and the gloves on and i went over to save a lot and i got them uh, all the other stuff there they they had quite a good selection of stuff over at save a lot so i was happy about that so I, I pretty much think I've got myself set, Terry and I set for the next possibly three weeks. So that's what I'm hoping for. So I don't have to go out anymore to get any more food. And that's kind of what I think people are doing when they, when they, it's not really hoarding. It's just kind of like, they don't want to go out again. You know, they want to well, get it I, all. I mean, I, I, I agree with you whole, whole lottery because, you know, you go out and you get, if you don't have a hazmat suit, you know, when you get home, you get home, you have to decon. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, clean up and stuff like that. So when you go out, you really want to go out and make sure that you get everything. Yeah. And uh, make sure, you know, it's amazing. You you have to plan and go, okay, I got to ju- go to Joe's gas station to get toilet paper because there's no toilet paper at Myers or Walmart. Right, right. And so you got to plan out everything and, and just say, okay, Let's go out today, so we don't have to go out for the next week. It's really weird. At, at least a week, yeah, yeah. But like I say, this this uh, this whole thing right now, it's, it's kind of scaring me. You know, I'm kind of used to the whole um, sterile thing because, you know, with Terry, when she was, uh, before she got her kidney, she was on peritoneal dialysis, and I had to, to keep everything spotless. So I was used to the hand sanitizers, my hands being like rubber or like uh, um pieces of rock because they were so ripped up and wore out from all the hand sanitizer <laughs> and all the, you know, you know, the sanitizer wipes and, and everything. I used to wipe everything down and we do the bleach spray and get bleached and clean everything. And I mean, it was like sterile city in here when, when we did the peritoneal dialysis and we met, we made it for the 18 months without anybody getting uh, any infections. So, um, so I'm, I'm kind of used to it. So I'm pretty good at it. And, uh, we, you know, we've been, we've been trying to keep, you know, ho- hopefully it's not famous last words, but I, I'm pretty good at keeping, well, keeping everything the sterile. Way, the way I figure if you just go drink a, a fifth of Everclear. There you go. That, that'll that take care of everything. I got a bottle of vodka is all I got. So I don't know if I want to drink that straight. 
Oh, no. No, we, we went in, yeah, I mean, because you can't find hand sanitizer. Right. So you got to go and you have to look online and see a recipe and stuff like that. And, well, and people, when you do that, make sure you follow instructions. And, um, but then you got to get the stuff that you used for hand sanitizer, too. Like I say, with, with us, you know, like I say, I'm kind of a germaphobe these days since the peritoneal. So I had four bottles of hand, hand sanitizer already, four or five. I had five or six, you know, things of uh, wipes. I had Clorox. I had Clorox spray. See, I had all this stuff before this happened, just because I'm a germaphobe these days. You know, I'm I'm the Howie Mandel of uh, of, of right White Hell. Right yeah, now. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I mean, I, I just I, that's just the way I got because of you know all the all the germs floating around these days. So, but. Um, well, it's a, it's 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 just amazing as what you know between what's going on germ wise, and then what's going on because everybody who watched Tiger King, what in the world? I, this strange show about these people that had tigers and and murder and mystery and oh yeah, all this kind of stuff. yeah. Uh, so everybody's watching that. I'm not going to watch Tiger King. I'm not going to. I started. I, I started. <laughs> I started watching it. I turned it off though. The guy was a little too much for me. No. What what part was too much? The beginning. <laughs> Pretty much the beginning was enough for me. <clears throat> Even Terry looked at me and says, "Are we really watching this?" I said, "No, I'll turn it off." No, yeah. I, I I just said, you know what. These are hours of days that I'm not going to get back, and I'm not going to fill my head with that stuff. So. Yeah, I'm just I'm just so happy when uh, the warm weather hits here because uh, I'm I'm looking forward to getting outside and working outside, just doing whatever you know. Right and, uh, you know that's that's the great thing about you know about that is is that you know um, if you can say a great thing about a pandemic is that is that it is people are talking to people uh, more. Um, you know, they're, they're having to do it, of course, by phone or right, right. Skype or Zoom or whatever, but people are talking more. People are reading books. Um, you know, Emily and I are doing our Bible studies and all that stuff, so we got to look at each other. And um, so, it, I mean, there are some things that are good going on. And, and Muskegon, we want to tell you also, um, you know what? Yeah, you know, I know the serious nature of what's going on, but you know, don't forget to laugh. Right. Don't forget to enjoy life. Um, you know, don't be staring at Fox, CNN, yeah. or NBC, MS, NBC for 24 hours. Um, indulge yourself for 24 hours of Dave Chappelle. You know. <laughs> No, that's not a bad idea. I kind of like Dave, but anyway, <laughs> and, you know we've been we've been doing that. We we watched, uh, of course, you know I, I had to go and watch, you know, Blues Brothers, Animal House, and yeah, yeah, Blazing Saddles, and oh yeah, all those movies. Young Frankenstein was wasn't in there. Huh? Young Frankenstein wasn't in there. Come on, you oh got, yeah, yeah. You know, well, you know, you, I got to break the glass and open that up and watch that probably today. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can also you know watch all the American Pie ones too. So there you go. Oh yeah, so there's a list of stuff that you can do, um, and 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 just just make sure just doing this time and stuff like that that you mentally and physically stay busy. Um, you know the news cycle. You know if you watch a little bit in the morning and a little bit at night, you'll be caught up. Yeah, but if you watch this stuff all day, you just don't go crazy. Oh yeah, and especially some of the stuff on the internet that's that's false. Yeah, you know. So. Oh my what, gosh, how many cures have you heard? Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, <clears throat> I was sent a few myself. People are sending me these cures. They do this, do this. It's like I appreciate that they are trying to help, but you know, it's I I, I don't know. Anyway. Well, if you if you suck a lemon and if you turn around three times <laughs> and you hop on one foot and stick your finger easy. up your nose and you'll be okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, not happening. <laughs> yeah, well, I I don't think I've got any of those, but yeah, that's pretty good that you got a couple of those. <laughs> I think I'd well, pay to see the video for that one. <laughs> well, I tell you what, 
I tell you what, some of the other things that you get is, is that I won more sweepstakes in the last week, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a big part of the publisher's clearinghouse these days, yeah. Uh, everybody's sending me, you can win an I You can get a free iPhone, you can get all this free stuff. And, you know, you know the thing is that it's just been amazing. All the the generosity of oh, yeah. all people that are doing it just, we just want to warn our people to to be careful out there. Well, I just I just can't believe there's some of these places that are you know. Of course, I guess they're doing it all online. I suppose these days, but you know, I guess that's okay. You know, if you and order, phone. but and phone. But you know, the thing about it is, it's like Amazon. Um, my sister ordered me some coffee three weeks ago. <laughs> I still haven't seen it yet. So you know, luckily I I got some other coffee. But uh, anyway, I can say it's not it's not exactly next day delivery anymore so that's for sure if you go gonna... and the thing is is that i've been watching people like wear a mask but wear them incorrectly yeah you know if you're gonna wear a mask put the mask over your nose and your mouth yeah, yeah. There was a, and your mouth there was a guy it was a guy it was a police officer it was on it was on tv the other day it was uh they were showing these in new york and here's this police officer he's got a mask on he's got his nose totally exposed <laughs> i'm thinking why even bother you know why even put it yeah. on and the, the thing is as, as we were shopping today i, I walked in the, the door of a store and the guy was laughing just ecstatically and just spit was going all over the place oh geez i never turned in the other direction so fast yeah. it's like it looked like a bus bunny cartoon <laughs> zoom yeah and uh, if so somebody sneezes, like you're gone out of the way. Yeah, you know, I saw I saw in Save a Lot today a couple of guys that uh, young guys, probably still in high school, that were wearing a couple of masks that I don't know their mother made or somebody Flash made, that. but they're really very colorful and stuff, you know. So I, I'm thinking, okay, here we go. We got a we got a fad going on for the teenagers now to be wearing these colorful masks now. So that'll be well, the new thing. And, and, and the combination of that, and then you see people take the mask and they throw them on the ground. Oh, yeah, Why? yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> and so, anyway, Muskegon, be careful out there. Learn how to laugh. Play the game. Talk to people. And yeah. Learn. You know what? It's a pandemic, but that doesn't mean that you stop living life. As long as you're six feet apart, you can talk together. If you're... <laughs> You're there. No, I, I, I just, you know, for, for instance, I was, I was driving down the road and I saw some pe- people talking to their neighbors. Well, of course their neighbors were like six feet away from them when they were talking to them. So I'm just saying people are, are taking it seriously. I think finally, but then again, I go on the Walmart parking lot. Cause like I said, I get the, where they, they bring the groceries out and we, they put them in the car for me and all that good stuff, you know? And, uh, but the parking lot was packed, it was just packed. Right. And I'm thinking there's no way in that in that store that they're going to be able to stay six feet apart from each other. No way. You know, not to mention when you go up to the cashier and you're like face to face with them, you know. I, oh, can, can, can we give a big shout out to those cashiers? Uh, yeah, big time. All the people that keep the food chain going and uh, a big pharmacies, the nurses, the yeah. doctors. First responders, firefighters, police officers that are out there. Uh, if you know these people, make sure you are thanking these people profusely. Yeah, um, that they're out there, and we get to you know we get to go home and disinfect and change clothes and burn the clothes in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, G Man's making some some s'mores again. <laughs> now, make it s'mores again. Yeah. And, uh, but they're every day, they got to argue with people about, you know, trying to keep them from not buying four dozen, dozens of eggs and all this kind of stuff. Right. And, you know, it's just people just calm down, take a deep breath. Yeah. We, this, this too shall pass and the crew will be back on. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, but this too shall pass. This just just take a deep breath. Um, you know, make sure you take a, talk to the elderly and talk to your neighbor. Yeah. And, you know, make sure that you know people might need food. 
Um, I, and that's another thing, people, that compassion is starting to come back. And um, and people are calling and checking on each other to see that. And, um, and that that's good. Yeah. And, and if we want to keep that up, you know, we should be doing that anyway. Well, you know, and, the, uh, the one thing that I always say every time, you know, my pharmacist, every time I go to the pharmacist to get medications or whatever, I always tell the pharmacist, uh, pharmacist thank you so much for, for being there for us. We really appreciate it. Um, same with, uh, when they, people bring out the groceries for me, I pre, I, you know, tell them thanks. Cause I don't get out of the car. I let them do it. I feel like I should give them a tip, but then that kind of defeats the purpose, you know, that you're not right. doing any close touch contact, so to speak. And then, and then the, the, all the people that, uh, um, at the grocery stores that are, are stocking all this stuff. And I'm seeing these people though, and I don't understand. I really don't understand the people that are stocking, the people that are at the cashier um, things, at, even at the bank I saw today. And of course, all the banks are closed, but you can go through the drive throughs Well, even the, the cashier, the bankers there aren't wearing gloves or any kind of protection when they're taking all this stuff in and putting it back out again. I don't know. That kind, kind of scares me a bit. And money is just, can we get that out there that money is dirty? Yeah, exactly. And both- and, and those little money. canisters and I mean, just, I don't know, it just, that scares me. I mean, I didn't see any sanitary, I didn't see at, at the cashier today. I didn't see or have like a bottle of hand sanitizer or anything, you know, it was just like, you know, I, I don't know. know. It, it, when you get done doing this stuff, you feel like you want to come home and just jump in a bathtub of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just to clean off and, and <laughs> pour a bottle of bleach over your head. You're all set yeah, to go. Pour a bottle of bleach <laughs> over your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You it, know, I disinfect myself so much that when I go to the bathroom, I clean the toilet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that one, but yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I know, I know how you're when you're talking. It's just like I say, I'm I'm already a germaphobe, so this just make puts me into like high gear, you know. So I'm like scrubbing everything. My hands look like you know they're all cracked and ripped up and everything else from all this hand sanitizer I've been using and soaps that I've been using to wash my hands and suds them up for 20 seconds. And, right. but Hey, you know, the alternative is not a good thing. I mean, uh, Joe Diffie, who just passed away the other day, he was 61. I'm 61. It's like, Nope, I don't want to die yet. I'm not ready to die. So. It, it re- and re- I mean, it really makes you think, I mean, you know, we're, we're seeing all these people of all ages. Um, you know, Chris Cuomo and yeah, uh, yeah. He didn't pass away, but he's uh, got he it. The virus. Yeah. And we're going to find out that a lot of people in Muskegon County are going to get it. Yeah. The good news is, is that it's, it's not a death sentence. No. It's something that you do need to take, be, be smart. You know, the thing is the very best thing that you can do is stay home. Yeah. Not on the radio. You gotta be listening to talking tunes anyway. Yeah. Listening to that, we're gonna play some great music, tell some great stories. So you may as well do it. But and and if they home, and if they want to watch and if they want to listen to some old talking tunes or watch basically because there are the videos that we got all the old ones that we did so far up on. Uh, if you go to Google and then type in talk and tunes show Muskegon dot com, then you'll be able to see all the old shows that we did too. So that'll, if they're, they're entertaining, come on. <laughs> oh my God. There's, there is some we entertain funny, ourselves. Funny stuff uh, back in the day and the new talking tunes team. Yeah. Um, with Which I miss on, big time. You know, everybody's on the house. end of like staying in the house right now. Yeah. Um, but, um, it, it's, it's going to be a joy to get everybody back together again. Yeah, our thing is, is that is, is that we everybody we need to stay safe right now. Right, and we'll we'll do the phone thing at my little studio and their little home and phone. That that'll work for now anyway. So I still got to right. still got to get a hold of Kathy. Kathy, I think is going to Kathy Eckert's going to do it. I I don't know about getting Bob. We'll we'll try to get Bob on there and. And I haven't talked to Britta in so long. I really want to talk to her too and get her on the air again. So we uh, we'll we'll work on it. Got yeah, got plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know where you're gonna go, but you, you definitely have the time. I got the time. And then we're we're doing the stuff too. Is, is that we've been doing the concerts here? Now the first one we did 
we weren't able to get it because of the music was clipping. Right. But we're still working on that. Um, but I'm happy to report that I'm, a lot of my music friends are going online and they're playing music right. to entertain people. And I think and that's I, awesome. That is awesome. Really and, is. You know, I've just been challenging people, you know, just like, okay, you know, you know, pick up your guitar, pick up your instrument and just, you know, play a song. Yep. And, and, and so, um, and I, I want to take a chance to, um, Lou Russ, this guy is phenomenal. He's, uh, seven nineteen in the morning, seven nineteen at night, every day, half hour, hour, um, 45 minutes is on playing music. Yeah. To um, lift people's spirits. And that's uh, like Chris Cuomo said, that's an American, yeah. you know, just, uh, and that's that phrase that uh, I want to pick up American that we, you know, that's, that's pretty good. I have, the spirits. I haven't heard that one. American. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, um, the other thing about 100.9 too, um, we have two, I think two of our, th- our three churches that are on Sunday are doing them now on Facebook. So you can watch them on Facebook. So, and you can also hear them also Sunday because I record them and put them on. So they come on Sundays too. So it's always a, um, a nice thing too, that you have you, if you can't get to church, you can also, you know, listen to it on 100.9 on Sunday mornings. One comes on at nine and one comes on at 10. So there you go. On and Sunday. yeah, and, and I, you know, like our church, Christ church, um, everything is, that's online as well. And uh, a lot of churches have, have just gone online. Yeah. And uh, we do all our studies, our groups, everything. Um, and if you need information, I'm, I'm going to go out there and just say, uh, put my phone number 231-578-4262. And, you know, we'll make sure that um, we'll lead you in a direction. Or, or you can call. If you'd like to volunteer or if you need food or if you need something, dial the number 211. And that will get you in contact of people that will help you. Also, uh, we're, you know, giving praises to people. Let's take the time to thank the school system and the bus, bus drivers and the people that are cooking the food to make sure that our children continue to get breakfast and lunches right because for some kids that's the only meal that they get and i was one of those kids that I, we needed those meals and so there are a lot of people out on the front line that don't get kudos every day yeah we wanted to take the time to thank them for what they do what they're doing well you know the, the thing about it is with thanking people you could you, we could spend a whole hour doing that because i mean i just myself i've got uh Cassie uh, Riggs, she was, uh, she's a nurse and she was driving home and she gave us a call and said, cause I, you know, my first order at Walmart, I didn't, I didn't get anything. Basically I got ordered, ordered 80 hours worth of groceries and got like 30, but, um, wow. and, uh, so she called and she said, Hey, what do you need? And she stopped at all these and save a lot or whatever and picked all this stuff up for me, just dropped them on my porch for me, you know? And of course I left the money for her, but you know, the, the stuff like that is just awesome. And, you know, of course my, my two of my, our, our daughters, uh, are in the, uh, medical profession and, uh, one of them at mercy hospital and we, you know, pray for her every day and same with the other one that, uh, is over at spectrum because, you know, they are putting themselves out there and it just scares the crap out of me, you know, and the crap out of Terry too, that's for sure. But right. you know, this, this, the whole thing is just, just amazing how much people are, um, I don't know, just, just being human beings, I guess, finally, because of this tragedy that we have going on right now, or this war, or this virus, or this pandemic, or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, you know, to go with that story, I, it, 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 there are two women in a uh, uh, trailer park in um, Muskegon Township that came up with this ingenious thing. It's very simple. They came up with a red card and a green card and an instruction that, and they walked the whole uh, trailer park. If you're doing fine, you got to, you put a green card in the window. Oh, okay. If you need something, you put a red card and then they knock at the door and they help you out. Okay. So you see that kind of stuff. It just, 
you know, just those little things mean a lot, and it's just wonderful. I like I, I said, they're Americans, yeah, and we want to keep that going. It's just like uh, the White Lake area. They've got the put the anchor on your window. There's an anchor that you can put on your window. I'm, I'm afraid to put it on my window, though, because I have like a 100-foot driveway. So if they came up to look at the anchor, they might step in dog poop. So, you know, I, I just, <laughs> I'm just trying to do my part, you know. <laughs> I'll get out there and clean it up eventually, you know. Yeah, that's what you need to do. The weather's going to warm up. Yeah, I will. I will. Just don't, don't clean up dog poop. Yeah, I will. I will. I promise. That dog, though, man, I tell you. Anyway, <laughs> just don't want anybody stepping in it, you know, including myself, yeah. you know. It's like, what's that it's, smell? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, what's that smell? That's <laughs> Got everything sterilized. What's that smell? Yeah, okay. Yeah, what, yeah what, what's, what's the smell? Or you come in walking in with masks and yeah, gloves, gloves and, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, can we, well, can we make a, just a, a, a an announcement that's like, people, if you're going to wear the mask and the gloves, dispose of them oh, yeah. correctly. Do yeah. not throw them on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh, my gosh. Please. I have mankind. I've seen I've I've seen people just like use the mask over and over too. They'll they'll hang it on their their rear view mirror. <laughs> they'll just put it yeah. on when they need to go in or whatever. Like yeah, yeah nice. okay. Yeah, put, Let's put do it in the car again. over the window and then that's you for a ride. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh well. No. Maybe they maybe they have to teach this. I mean, well, maybe they did. I don't know because I haven't been to school in years, but. You know, they start teaching these uh, um, sanitation, um, what you should do in a, in the situation kind of thing these days when school comes back on, I guess, you know, how they should keep themselves clean, wash your hands, and how they should scrub everything. I don't know. I'm Like I say, I'm a germaphobe, so I'm kind of crazy about it anyway, so. Well, I, I, and the thing is that I'm not people, they, they, they know that, you know, you got to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Yeah. At twenty seconds is what song this thing and all this yeah, stuff. right. You yeah. know, I've seen every song from Queen to Journey. Well, if you sing Bohemian Rhapsody, then that you know that'd be much longer than twenty seconds. You'd be you'd be yeah, all set and, there. But man, you would have the cleanest hands and yeah. Body. You sung yeah. the whole Bohemian Rhapsody, <laughs> and, and so uh, to see people do this to put these songs. Um, some of the, the the books that people have written, and I, and I sent you a video of a guy playing. It, it's it's called "Stay the Blank at Home." Oh yeah, I seen that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, so the, the thing is that what people are doing just to entertain other people. Major kudos to those individuals that are coming with up with some ingenious uh, things to just. Enlightened Americans. You know the one wonderful. that the one that I'm going to share on the as far as music wise on uh, uh, talking tunes is the one that was done with um, uh, Robbie Robinson from uh, the the band the the, the band band the band the band <laughs> he, yeah the band he did it he did it with Ringo Starr and a ton of other people from all over the world and did the song The Wait. You know, and it just, it was amazing. It was amazing because you had, you know, you see all these people from all over the world uh, adding to this song with piano and, and harmonica and, and um, uh, just all kinds of instruments or different instruments from, you know, India and all, just everything. It was just amazing. So if you haven't seen that one yet, it's on my on my page and Facebook page. So I'll ask her, I'll go to my Facebook page. It's there. Yeah, I made kudos to Neil Diamond, you know, the song Caroline. And he took that and he changed it to a hand washing song. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen that one. That that yeah, he did that. Took you know, picked up the guitar and changed it to wash you know, yeah, wash your hands. And so you see a lot of that. Yeah. Um, and and I just major kudos to those artists. Yeah. That are willing to pitch in, and um, I, I I'm just reading right now over the screen. There's a um, NBA player that is sending 10 million masks from China yeah. on his own dime. There you go. And just that, that kind of stuff right there is just amazing. 
Yeah, people um, that are closing down their 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 factories and, and switching them over so they can make the mask or the shields or the yeah yeah it's just amazing. And, and then there the 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 other people, I, and I know you know you, you stay home, but there's some people that are out there still opening their restaurant. So yeah, you yeah. know they don't totally close down. And Emily and I have been trying to support those individuals as well if it's a candy store, a sub shop, a pizza place, or you know, whatever. The, the, the one thing that scares me, though, is what about the places that can't? Because, I mean, just like in the White Lake area here, I was talking to Beth Beeman about it, and there's a few places that just are totally closed down that can't can't offer the service safely, you know? So they had to close down. So it's like those people, I, I, you just worry. I mean, a lot of businesses, I mean, you go downtown here in the White White Lake area, and it's just, it's a ghost town, of course, you know, and I'm sure it's pretty bad in Muskegon. I've been kind of staying away, so just staying yeah. around in my own little area here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unfortunately, this is going to be like the big purge, you know, after this, you're going to see who gets the loans. Yeah. Who don't get the loans, who will be able to open up. Um, I understand Logan's, for instance, that they're closed down and they're not going to open back up. Right. And that's a national food chain. Yeah. And so. And I just um, got a, <laughs> and I just got a 25 hour gift certificate to Logan. So I got to find. Nice. Some, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was about two months ago. I got, I got it. And it's like, I've been telling Terry, we're going to go for your birthday. And well, that didn't happen. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, I'm get, sorry. Well, when we get together, we, we got to have to catch up with her birthday. Yeah. You guys. Oh, matter of fact. Happy anniversary, man. We oh, didn't thanks. We get to do, the, do the, the marriage thing. Yeah. Which yeah. we'll do that when we get together as well. Yeah. When we could, we'll all have to stand six feet apart, but yeah, it'll, it'll work. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll make it work. Yeah, you just have to. Uh, we'll amplify know, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to throw a kiss six feet away. And, yeah. Yeah, you know, we all have to cry, but we all have to wear gloves. and Yeah. It'll be a beautiful ceremony. We'll oh, yeah. Promise. I know it will. I know it will. So, anyway. We'll, we'll make Kathy wear a mask. You know, everybody wear a mask. <laughs> It'll be a beautiful thing. Yeah. British, British singing through a mask. Yeah, there you go. That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you'll have your voice back so you can, like, uh, harmonize with her or something then by that time, you know. You know, it, it, you haven't been the first one. I mean, I'm getting a lot of requests that the the suit might have to come out of retirement. Yeah, got to get that, got to get that voice back, man. Yeah, you know, I might sound like Froggy. I might have to do it sooner than uh, later. But uh, hey, it might be a new sound for you that people like. You never know. <laughs> well, you know, uh, sing a lot. Of, uh, Armstrong, yeah, Louis Armstrong. Yeah, Louis Armstrong. There you go. Yeah, Louis Armstrong. Sing with "It's a Wonderful World" because you probably probably be able to sing about two or three songs, and <laughs> you'll yeah. be you'll be shot. But yeah, they always said John Lennon the best the best song that he ever sang was "Twist and Shout," and he said that was when his voice was just about ready to fall apart, and he said sounded the you know the best. So there you go. You never know. Well, I, I think that 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 G Man voice that people were used to, I think that one's gone. <laughs> Uh, oh well I, yeah that one's gone and I'm gonna end up singing like Prince or something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you can sing, you can sing kiss <laughs> I'm working on it baby yeah. I'm working on it if you get those high notes what the heck right yeah uh, just you know, we turn back to the seventies and everything funk and soft metal. There you go. Yeah, you can start doing a little Freggy Valley in the Fourth Season stuff too. There you go. I'm I'm working on it, man. Yeah, got to do a new show, baby. <laughs> hey, G, I appreciate you. Uh, let me give you a call and talk to you a little bit about this because I wanted to get. You know, I, I want to make sure that the show stays on and people have a good time. With I know we have a good time anyway, but hopefully they have some good time and get something out of it too. And I appreciate you spending the time with us. And we, it'd be great when we can all get back together and do it again. Right. Once again, I mean, again, call the radio station. Um, I'm going to put my number out there, 231-578-4262. 
Um, if you need anything, remember the number 211. Um, and, and just, again, the people that are out there from the nurses, the doctors, the people that are keeping the food station, the, uh, the food chain, the gas stations, we want to take the time to just anybody that is out there, garbage collectors, that, you know, you don't get a chance to say, oh, mail carriers, um, yeah. all those people that are out there, uh, UPS, thank you guys so much. Um, you're still working, and um, we're locked up like Fort Knox. Yeah. And, you, you know, you, these people, and um, to all the people that are listening, thank them, please, because when they have to go home and they have families too. Right. Right. That's right. Well, even the, like I said, the prison workers, I, that's another scare that we uh, got some, a daughter in the UP and her husband works at a prison and there's cases there. So yeah, it's just, it's just scary, man. It's very scary. Right. So it's a thing. I mean, again, a thankless job. Don't think about prison and this time, but those workers that just go in religiously to and police not officers, only on the porch, yeah. they just go in. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, like I say, the thing about the, the guards over at prisons, they, they don't have that option to be six foot apart, you know? So no, no, and, no. and the police officers and the and the fire department and all that stuff. So, you know, yeah, um, big hats off to everybody. That's for sure. Yeah, well, one thing, another thing, I, 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 the thing that's done, you know, I've talked to a police officer and, and he um, he told me about the mental state of Muskegon County is that people are, are just really getting down to a law. If you need help, seek mental health. Yeah. And in and, and, and this time, and just to be real serious, that this can be overwhelming. And during this time, when you when you hear this, it's going to be, we're going to be in the thick of things. And the thing is, is that if you need to talk to someone, if you need to get help, get that help. If you are sick and you can't be seen, do not take no for an answer. And um, if you want to hear a song, call us, seek us. Um, I'm on Facebook. You're on Facebook. And um, how, else, how else can you be reached, Oscar? Who, me? Yeah. Um, I can't say reach out and touch anymore, can I? No, I, you can... <laughs> You can always contact me, like I say, Facebook. I've got uh, our email address, which is uh, oscar.osbo59 at gmail.com. I'll always be reached that way, too. So. I can be reached Gregory T. Roberts at hotmail.com. We would love to hear what you guys uh, would like us to talk about, some of the skits you would like us to run. We have a bunch of stuff that we're going to do in the summertime. Um, what songs do you want to hear? What bands do you want us to feature? We want to hear what you got to say. Make sure you get in touch with us. All right. Sounds good. All right, man. All right, man. We'll talk to you again soon. Wash your hands and stay clean, brother. <laughs> got my hand sanitizer right by me. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> All right. You take care. All right. You Be too. safe. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.